kind of ridiculous. All right, so we'll start with the fawn farewell here. Um, apparently, I'm like 80 meters away. So this is going to push my storyline along here. And I'm hoping this is what's stopping me from playing with everyone. Ooh, does she have anything to sell for me? Distraction. Core Lapis. If you guys need Core Lapis to level up any of your characters, I swear, going to this lady and buying Core Lapis is totally worth it. You get five. Five Core Lapis. It's not every single day, but it is definitely worth it. The Electro Crystals are good too. Sugar. I think I'm good on sugar and potatoes, but I would highly recommend going there. Where does it want me to go? All the way up there. I almost think it's better just to go up here and fly down, maybe. How many channel points will it cost me to make you wear the new Fortnite crew skin? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to wear it, aren't I, at some point. I'll have to put it on the presets. I haven't been on Fortnite, I guess, in like two days or something, so. Maybe for fun, uh, I'll kind of do some changes to that with you guys when I need a couple minutes just to, you know, chill. Whee! Oh, Venti. He's still injured from when I sent him off. If you guys could have seen that, it was just the stupidest thing ever. I don't have to. <laughs> well, since oh. we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. Oh, the people are worried. Am I doing Subby Saturday for Fortnite today? I am. I am. Just, uh, I'm just going to do it after I do Genshin. Any plans to get any of the other Pokemon games? Really enjoyed the Pokemon content? Yeah? I'm glad, Sparky. Um, I am planning to, um, get either Pearl or Diamond when it comes. Other than that, I am not totally sure what I'm going to... What else I'm going to be doing on the Switch just yet. So I wanted to kind of just, you know, see how I enjoyed it. See if you guys like the content and all that. Um, and if you guys did, then I was going to uh, consider doing some of the other the other Pokemon games. But Come on, yeah, Let's go. I love Pokemon. I just didn't know you guys liked it as much as you did for quite a while. It was only like the last couple of months that I was hearing a lot about it. So I was kind of like... Oh my gosh, would you guys actually like to you see that, that kind of content? You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. Ah, oh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. 
Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. Wow, okay. We're literally listening to gossip. How did this Switch stream go? I've done a couple actually now. It's going pretty well. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Okay. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. A translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. Wow. Uh, so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? I guess that's possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the rite of farting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Is she not as more disturbed about that? <laughs> Hi, Clark. How you doing? I still have to do the rest of those games. Oh, here we go. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she what? looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way. Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa. Uh... Name your price? She gonna speak? Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Oh my gosh, I think that's like probably is that the first time we've ever heard the traveler speak? Ooh. That's crazy. I can't believe they're all here. Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. I believe 
that future generations will say so too when our deeds come up for their review. <laughs> Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are you really that selfless? Oh. <laughs> if you were looking for someone, you could have just told me that in private. Whoa. She is not being very nice to us. The cleanup of the premises, managing the crowds as they exit, making an account of the right? There's much that remains to be done. I didn't miss anything, did I? Whoa. Okay, Venti, don't attack everyone. Get us in trouble, drunken bard. Hi, Reed, how you doing? Welcome. All right, I gotta pay attention. Where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, this dude? Oh, it's Zhongli. Hey, Zhongli. Look at this. Everyone in Liyue is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. <laughs> Like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. Wow. You've been this way the entire time. <laughs> but why would Morax lack more? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. <gasps> well, we were only spending for Tui money. You don't have to say it like that. Wow. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. Wow. It was a fine journey. <laughs> Thank you, Cade, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Read you at your first date, at your new job. How was it? Hopefully it went well. That is true. There is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. Mm -hmm. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Closed? Yes. The nation has been closed by order of its deity. The Electro Archon Ball. <gasps> and just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. This is um, a new area. Raiden thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, Ry Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of the Inazuma Bakufu, 
People call her the Raiden Shogun. Shogun? That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Ooh. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevat see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? What's that? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of a statue of the Thousand-Armed Hundred-Eyed God. They want to seize visions? But why? why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's, that's harsh. Crazy. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Wow. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto heaven. Wow. I don't know if this chick sounds crazy or cautious. And I mean, if people, if the people found out that Zhongli is Rex Lapis for real and that he's still alive and that he lied to them, I don't see this going well. All right, then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Uh... About child. Yeah, about that. Before the Cheesing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Qixing from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? He is no longer a god. Is the god, yeah, but to me, to me though, he's still that figure, right? I don't know. Anyways, I guess we may as well ask about the trials. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. <laughs> Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. That said, the reason why the Qixing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions all right then was there anything else you wish to know uh the, the time of the adepti has long passed 
If even the Liu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Qixing's plan to take governing power over Liu from the hands of the gods and Adepti. Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm... Then who? All right then. Who? Was there anything else you wish to know? Who? <laughs> When he gave the chess piece to the Fatui, he passed on the powers of the Archon. But I thought when he said he was passing it, it was really nothing to him. Because it just it didn't mean anything to him anymore. I don't know. That's right. Zhongli, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the more into that? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. Right. <laughs> this is terrible! We're all about to run out of the world is coming to an end! Yes, this is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. What? We can't run out of Mora. Uh, what? Well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liu Qixing to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense <laughs> idea. <sighs> It's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? I guess there's nothing else. It didn't mean anything because he felt he is useless, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Crazy. Well, then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Okay. Whoa. So now is it gonna let me do things with people? Or is because it started a new quest, it's... Oh, it's done. No. I don't I don't see it anymore. Right now I wish I was sitting at the top of a tree. Looking out over a Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Okay. What did he mean, though? We're all going to run out of Mora. Like, uh... I, I don't want that to happen. Oh, Zhongli! Well, at least I have him now, so... I'm scared to start anything else, but... Ooh. A teapot to call home. I guess, is this going to be the next quest that I have to do? I actually haven't done anything in this yet. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 
I'm going to have to do that. Is this going to be permanent, though? Because it's, it's under the event stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Phew. Phew, phew, phew. That would have been really bad. We've done the test run. So now we're just on to the Twisted Realm. You seriously thought Venti was a girl? <laughs> uh, yeah. There's there's a couple of the characters in Genshin I uh, was a little confused about myself at first. 